Who does not love wontons? Those delicious little meatballs wrapped in dough and then cooked in a nice chicken broth and put over a bunch of pasta. Mmm, so good, especially when it's cold and windy out there. Now, it is supposed to become summer, but I do live in Ireland. I'm gonna, still gonna make some gluten-free wontons today. Market, you know, you can't really get gluten free wonton wrap, so I really have to make them from scratch. But since I figured out finally how to make gluten free pasta dough, it shouldn't be too hard to make gluten free wonton wrappers. Since my gluten free flour combination for my lasagna and my pasta turned out so well. I'm going to use the same flour combination to try out to make gluten-free wontons. So here's my pre-mixed pasta flour combination. And you can see the recipe in last week's video. I found on CuriousKitchen.com a recipe how to make wonton wrappers from scratch. Now certainly they use regular all-purpose flour, which we certainly going to substitute with my gluten-free flour combination. And the recipe uses two cups of all-purpose flour and a cup is about 120 grams so i want to have 240 grams i'm going to use three quarter teaspoon of salt and one egg and i'm going to mix that again with my spatula the recipe also uses half a cup of water And I'm going to knead the dough now. I'm going to pour now the dough onto my surface and knead it there for a little bit. Okay, the dough is coming together pretty nicely. The recipe also talks about using cornstarch to avoid the surface to be sticky. So here is my big bag of cornstarch. I did roll out my dough by hand last time when I did my ravioli and it worked out. The one thing I did not like and Matt didn't like either was a little bit the inconsistency of the thickness of the ravioli. So for my wonton, I'm definitely going to use my pasta machine. I actually didn't use my pasta machine for the ravioli or my lasagna sheet because I lost my handle. And I had to reorder one, which it was like 10 pounds and a whole time your pasta machine is just 20. It was a little bit of this weird thing. Am I going to order a new one or a new pasta machine? So here's my pasta machine and I have to tighten it on the table. Oh, the handle fits. Okay, that's a good thing. So let's try it out. Here's a little bit of dough. I'm going to drench it with a little bit of cornstarch and I'm going to roll it through. Okay, and it just broke one. Now, why did it break? It might be too wet. I also let me try to roll it out a little bit thicker and then roll it out a little bit thinner which helps with sometimes preventing the dough to break okay it's still breaking so I have to figure out is it the wetness or is it the dough okay so this is a little bit of a wetter dough okay it's breaking a little bit less that's good still pretty fragile Keep in mind this is gluten-free dough. The recipe talks about that the dough should be firm but not tacky. But this seems to be not firm yet. I'm not gonna just use cornstarch because last time that gave it a little bit of a funny flavor. So I'm gonna use another quarter cup of Malay flour. I'm gonna add it to my surface and knead that into the dough. Okay, it's becoming pretty firm now. And the recipe talks about letting the dough rest and placing a damp towel on the top of it. So I'm going to put it in a bowl here and I'm going to be right back and get myself a damp towel. So here's my damp towel and I'm going to place it over it. I'm going to start working on the filling for my wonton 
and for that I need two green onions, very finely chopped. I'm gonna transfer it into a bowl and I'm supposed to add one tablespoon of finely grated ginger. So I'm gonna use again my cheese grater. It's about one tablespoon of ginger. I need to add 200 grams of ground pork and I want to add 200 grams of shrimp but I need to chop them first. So I'm going to chop away here to get my finely chopped shrimp. And I want to add my shrimp now to the ground pork. For the flavoring of the wonton, I'm going to use one tablespoon of light soy sauce. two tablespoons of Shawshank cooking wine again make sure it's gluten free and two tablespoons of sesame oil and half a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna mix that you can use this as filling for the wonton but you can see how it's not very fine and that will make it harder in filling the wonton. So I'm gonna quick put it in a food processor and grind it to a very smooth paste. So here's my food processor with my chopping blade. I'm gonna add now the meat. That just took a few seconds and check out how much smoother the texture is. I'm gonna transfer the filling now back into a bowl and I'm going to put my filling now in the fridge until I'm ready to make my wonton. So here's my rested wonton dough. Let's check it out if I can roll it out or if it's going to be too brittle and break up. So here's some of the cornstarch. So I wanted to use the pasta machine but it might be too brittle for that. Just check it out how it breaks. It's a little bit too thick as well. I think it breaks because it's missing the gluten. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So that recipe is not gonna work for gluten-free one time though. I guess I have to try a different combination of ingredients. So I'm wondering if I have to use santum gum to see if that will hold my wonton wrappers together. The other option I'm wondering about is if I can use flaxseed or chia seeds because they're a little bit gooey and see if that will help me to keep my dough together. Let's try it out since whatever I tried here did not work. So because my original wonton dough didn't turn out, I did quite mix up a variation and I did almost the same recipe. I just added some xanthan gum to this dough and I tried here some psyllium husk and I want to see if they roll out and hopefully roll out much thinner without breaking. So here's the dough with xanthan gum. I'm going to break off just a little bit and I'm going to try to roll it through my pasta machine. So yeah, nothing is rolling here. Yeah? Okay, that's a little bit less than ideal. That's the one with phantom gum. This is my dough with psyllium husk and it's much softer and much more nettable. It feels almost like glutinous dough. To get the dough through the pasta machine, I think you always have to make a little bit of a wedge. Ooh, it's rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling. And it didn't break so far. Okay, that's good. Now I need to get it even thinner. So I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch to it. I'm going to change it to be thinner. And I'm going to roll it out again. Okay, it's still not breaking. Woohoo! Going to make it even thinner now. So that's a four. Check this out. It's not breaking. This is pretty amazing. Let's see if I can get it even a little bit thinner. I'm going to put it now on a six. Check it out. It's almost paper thin. It's thinner than paper. That's almost too thin. That's cool. So, the facilium has did the trick. And I'm going to do now an entire batch of my wonton dough. I finished mixing the dough and I'm going to split it now into small long strings so I can easily feed it through my pasta machine. 
And here we go again. I'm gonna roll out the dough. Check how beautiful the dough is. Another beautiful one ton sheet. I'm gonna sprinkle again some more cornstarch over it. So I wanna cut the one ton sheets now. I'm gonna make them three by three. So here are my gluten free one ton sheets. So back to my filling. And I'm gonna show you how I make the wontons. So I'm gonna use a very small spoon, like this dessert spoon, put one spoon of filling in it, and then normally what I do to stick the things together is I put a little bit of water and press it together, and then the one recipe I saw, I push those two edges together, making small little pretty wonton. What I just showed you is in Thin Eats how they do it. I learned just to put a spoonful of the filling in. Then I flip it across, press it with my finger together, and then really carefully weave it together and press it together to get a one ton shape. So here are my finished one ton. The only thing left for me to do is now make some delicious chicken broth, put my wontons in there and have some delicious wonton soup. I'm going to add some green onions to the top of the soup. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!